Hello, we're going to my channel. I'm Ghost Prime, and I'm going to take a look at Generation 1 Broadside in this review. Just kind of doing a quick video of, of probably one of the worst triple changers out there, subjectively, of course. Broadside. He didn't really appear in the cartoon. I don't know how you would do it, because he turns in from an aircraft carrier into a jet and then a robot. You know how big of a jet he would be, or how small of an aircraft carrier he'd be, and a giant robot? I mean... Size does not work with this figure at all, but it still has its charm. It is definitely of its era, and, you know, I, I kind of just dig him. So first off, first and foremost, let's take a look at the instruction sheet. And he does come with a lot of accessories. So he has two missiles here. Uh, are the same. Two of these. He has ah. an axe and oh a rifle. Moving on to the figure himself. Here is getting in close. This is him as a aircraft carrier. You can see the arms on the side, but it's a rather successful aircraft carrier. Lots of uh, good detail on it. You know, a little bit of discoloration on this one. These pieces here are metal, which is very welcome, very nice. This is also metal. That's how it looks painted with this, the landing uh, landing uh, lane on the top there. Or the takeoff, I'm not sure which. And on the bottom, it's actually supposed to go in and stay, but it doesn't really do very well. There it goes. You can see some of that detail on it. He's actually very, very easy to transform as well. So let me just go ahead and take this away. And getting him transformed into jet mode is pretty simple. We just go ahead and take this piece here, move that up. Take the two pieces here, move these out and around. Kind of just stop right there. This has a flap on the bottom. Move the flap up and around. You see little metal wheels. That goes all the way down and attaches. Right there, the little pig right there. So that has landing gear. Turn them around. Almost done. Go ahead and undo the little wings there and put the wings up here. And there he is in jet mode without accessories. So what you're going to want to do here is... Take oh, that goes up. There we go. Take his missiles, and you could just go ahead and stick those right there on these pegs, either side of his wings. And there you have a fighter jet mode. Now the fighter jet is very loose, uh, loosely a jet. I don't think this even, this even really tries to be a jet. I mean, you have a cockpit, you have a nose code, and you have wings. And I think that's all that was needed for this. Not a very good triple changer at all. Uh, it doesn't look, I mean, it's this. it looks terrible. But again, it has that charm. You see a Autobot logo, which is based upside down on this one. Right there, two big Autobot logos on the stickers on the wings. This is, comes uh, a you can see this is from the legs. There, there's some stickers there. Sticker wear is pretty big on this guy since he does have a lot of stickers. So that is another thing you need to look out for besides just his accessories is all his stickers. And yeah, it, it rolls relatively well. Size-wise, he's not too small. There he is next to Blitzwing here in tank mode. So you can kind of get an idea uh, of just the size of it. So to get him into robot mode, we're going to go ahead and remove the missiles. Put the tail wings up. Move these pieces down, which become the feet. Wings back up. See if I get that in. There we go. Move the cockpit down. Take the arms. And pull them out. They're just in there very tightly. Put 
we go. Here he is in robot mode. In robot mode, I actually really dig the way he looks. So let's get close up on that head sculpt. I actually, I really like the head sculpt. I like the sticker detail. I like, I like robots with a lot of stickers on them. He's got detail in the cockpit. And the stickers, again, add just a ton of detail to his legs and his silly looking feet. He's got some heft to him. It's thick plastic. Lots of metal bits give this guy some weight. He's not super light. Articulation wise, it's just the arms. He's a brick otherwise. But he's got an axe. Get chop, 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 chop. <laughs> he get pew, pew. Oh, this, this drop and break him. With his, uh, his gun here. And his missiles don't really have anywhere to go. You can't actually have him hold a missile in his hand as a gun. So you put the stick. The, the, what I do is I just kind of put the, the, the missiles either back like this or back like this. Kind of leave them on the wings. And I think that that holds him there pretty well. So you can actually have him hold all of his accessories uh, on him. Let me get that on there. Put his gun back. And he's he's not a short bot at all, but he's not super huge either. There he is next to Optimus Prime. So you can see he's got some height to him when he's fully done up in a robot mode. I mean. So all in all, I think he's a pretty good figure, and I love him. I think he's actually one to have for a triple changer collection or just a generation one collection in general. Sure, he's a brick. A lot, a lot of generation ones are like that, but he's got his charm. You just kind of sit him right there on your shelf or, you know, play with him like this. He doesn't really do much else, but he's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know what you think about Broadside. Let me know what you think about his updates, too. There was this one Titan Returns one that, honestly, I didn't care for. I don't think they have done this guy justice yet, and I would love to see an updated, even masterpiece version of this character. So I appreciate you watching this video. Let me know what you think of this guy in the comments. I'll talk to you next time.